Right, people, back at the Hunt Hideaway, um, just finishing the first fix off. We were here a couple of weeks ago, quit, uh, doing the first fix and fitting the boiler. So sort of fit an ideal Logic Max 24 kilowatt in there, with uh, it's five radiators and on the floor. And then just one bathroom, and it's just a shower. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you what we're going through today. So, down here, we've got the tower rails going here. That's finally turned up so we can get the pipes in ready for the floor to go down. And then, pipes under here need to uh, be brought across and kept onto these pipes here. We've also got two pipes under there, which are going to be a bit tight to just sling across onto these two. But yeah, I'll work that one out. Um, stop tap needs changing, that's passing, so that's a faulty stop tap. And then what we're going to get on with first is this radiator here. So we've got a two copper pipes to run down, flow and turn, and just catch into these flow and turns at the top here. That's them tall radiators there. That's the design the radiator for the bathroom. Uh, yeah, the snug under floor, which is piled on down there. We're not getting onto yet. The copper pipes that are there. We're gonna customer wants. They're getting boxed in, so customer wants to get the rest of that tight, uh, not tail, plastered and then we'll run them across on top of the fresh plaster so yeah it should be a nice little day steady away day so yeah i'll give you an update shortly People just a little top tip when doing a bit of an install, get a little box like this, and it little bits of copper, throw in there, all in one place, not messing your uh, work, work area up, and then put that in the back of your van, take it to put it, your lock up, do that every job throughout the year, end of year. Nice right. little Christmas bonus. people hope you're all doing good it is wednesday afternoon all finished over at the hunt hideaway 
didn't get as much footage as we wanted to get done today. Um, there's too many people about. I don't feel comfortable talking in front of other people. I'm a bit camera shy when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, anyhow, so what you through everything we've got done today, we've got as far as we wanted to. To be fair, we were happy with the progress we made today. Um, I'll show you what things have changed and what we've got coming up in the next time we are here. So I'll spin you around and show you what we've got done. So, first of all, underfloor heating pipes, tags across to there, that's all finished off. Um, ready for the board and manifold to go on. So what they're not, what we're gonna do, there was originally going to plaster this and then we're gonna go on top, but now they're having some custom built uh, cupboards built into there. So these pipes will be hidden. I won't see none of this old plaster work at the back. Uh, we'll put a bit of, bit of ply, manifold will go onto the ply then, and then we'll tag our uh, floor and turn it across and into the left hand side. A bit low on light down here, but we've got radiator pipes in here, all protected with this uh, metallic uh, wrap. Protects the pipes from corroding from the stone, and also if you use a metal detector, you'll pick it up on the metal detector. So, yeah, the top tip is wrap your pipes, protect your pipes, boys. So yeah, uh, stop tap change, because that was faulty, that was passing, so done that. Kitchen waste has been put in now. Gas meter is getting changed in the 29th, so I think next week we'll probably pop back and do the gas run for that. I would show you outside, but to big dog. These pipes are all in, connected up now, so the hot and cold are live. Essentially it is not live yet, just because I have not got enough caps to cap the radiators off. Um, so we'll do that next time. You're gonna moan that there's spots in there, but there will be some going in. Don't you wear your little cotton socks. So, as I said, the tower rail pipes are in there. Um, I've got the gold tails going down to that. It's a gold radiator with the white centerpiece, not the old traditional sort of looking ones. Bathroom's off first fix, so. Basin going in there, ready for the wall-mounted uh, countertop with the ball on top there. Shower, shower uh, bar mixers are first fix ready. Go in there. Toilets, uh, the original toilet that's staying in just for the plasters to have a number one and a number two. Hi mate, Danny. Patch that in for me. Good lad. Um, while it's all done up here, done condensate today. Just got the blow off the do, which is down here. And then we're going to run it up and across the back on with a compression socket. If you're fitting out ideals, make sure you use a compression socket on the blow off because manufacturers don't like it if you don't. So, yeah, while I'm sat in the toilet, I as well have a sit down. All finished for today. Um, customer has now decided we're putting a bath in the bedroom. Um, so, yeah, not what I'd have done. I, I personally would have knocked this wall through, had a big bathroom, or at least moved the bathroom into that room and use this as a study. But yeah, anyhow, customer wants to put the bathroom a bath in the in the bedroom. A bit different, I suppose. So it's a freestanding roll top bath with um, a over the top a tap. So got to call that out through these lovely stone walls which are a nightmare to still, uh, call through if you watched our video about two weeks ago you will notice that yeah we had a bit of a nah when calling them out so yeah that, other than that nothing else has really changed underfloor heating now looks like it's going to be put back until the new year which i wanted to get done before to be fair but the concentrate on just getting upstairs done ready for christmas so they can get moved back in because at the moment it is a shell. Um, but yeah, there's no no ceilings. You can't see, really see it, it's too dark, but very high ceilings, baths going in that area there. Beautiful lights. Uh right, yeah, so all done. Wednesday we are what we've got to do tomorrow, we have got a little, quite a few bottle services and stuff to do. So we might see if we can show you anything tomorrow. If not, I hope you enjoyed the, this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, sh hit the share button, hit the notification bell, follow us over on Instagram, and I will see you on Sunday. Right, people, just come to this ideal uh, independent 30. Um, and 
we are taking it off. I'll show you why. That's all this line. Probably the most common fault on these bladders. Some split. So that's leaking com product combustion. It's also split there on the molding joint. It's not in good condition this. It's also the pressure gauge reading wrong, so I don't feel like it's blowing off through the lower over there. Also it looks like I've got a leak on the cold. So yeah. Not good state. Also outside on the flue, um it's all rusty and I'll put a picture. It's rush on there, it's his um signs that it's well, the white's on Joe, so it's rusted. It's probably leaking outside as well, so. She's going off. I'm gonna be sticking a big sticker on it, saying do not use, condemn it, and we'll price them up for a new one. Here you go. I'll be safe inside it. Long size fuse as well. <laughs> right, we are tightened up. Do another test. Stick a big sticker on it. Right, people. So we've just come out of that uh, boiler that we've had to cap off. So yeah, some people are probably more at me saying that. You can get replacement parts for it while you just fix it. The customer just bought that house, he's just moved into it. It's an, an oldest boiler, so he, I give him the option of that we could repair, repair the flue, repair the um, sump. The customer said, no, let's just replace the boiler. Then it's new, get a new warranty on it. So that's why we, we capped it off and we price it, price a new boiler for him. So we'll drop him a price later this evening. We're going to put a price it up for a Logic Max 30 kilowatt. Basically, just it will just take come off and come back on. Um, bit of reshuffling about to do with the pipe work, try and neaten it up as much as we can. It's a bit, a bit shocking under there, but we'll do what we can do, make it a little bit better for them. At least we'll have heat and hot water next week. So, if he does go ahead with the court, we're gonna go there Tuesday. So, hopefully, next week we can show you fitting. Them.